our project this is a mirrored podium and I'm going to show you how to do it with using picture frames and mirrors from Lowe's so this is how it looks like and if you want to see how I made it definitely watch the rest of this video and if you're new to my channel subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up if you you know if you know it's going to be a good day why and trust me it will and um, so yeah let's get this video started it's one whole mirror and it is as big the, the measurements is like the tubes which is three three um here's the measurements <laughs> and you're gonna need three of these and it cost me about three four of these and it cost me fifteen dollars and i got them from usps and it's long that's the size you need and magically lows i got my mirrors from lows they are the exact same size so that's what you need and this was altogether 17 or 16 dollars you're going to need these picture frames these are the smallest ones you can see how i'm going to use them you're going to need and these are three these are from dollar tree and they're three um 3.5 times five and i like it because it's shiny too you're going to need these ones here which is you can see the um, width of it five times seven and you're going to need how many did i get one one two three four five six i've got six four of these on two of these which i'm about to spray paint they do normally have this size but they were all sold out so this is gold so i'm going to spray paint it silver to match and that's all you would need plus your glue and i'm using for mirrors i think this glue is the best one let me show you gorilla glue so i'm going to use gorilla glue i think this is the best and you'll need scissors of course which every diy needs some kind of scissors so yeah i'm outside and it's on the floor let's get started okay so you're gonna need duct tape right now and what you're gonna do is Ooh, i hope you didn't see me <laughs> i look a hot mess i just got back from the gym okay so you're gonna cut obviously cut this piece off get off my finger oh get off my finger for real there we go okay so you're gonna get your duct tape and you're gonna tape it get your boxes really close together like really close together i will start with two close together and then get the last ones at the end hold your duct tape firmly in place make sure they're all facing the nice direction the right direction and make sure it's firmly in place because you know once it's taped it's taped there's nothing you can do okay so take your duct tape and literally marry them together tie them together make sure everything is firmly in place so you might want to hold the top of it and you do this a lot of times like keep going round you see what I'm doing see make sure the top they're all the same like literally on the same level because any little difference will throw off the mirrors how the mirrors are placed do it until you're like satisfied with how firm they are and you want to do it okay so you want to do it on the top down the middle like maybe two times down the middle and then at the bottom so I'm going to do that right now Okay, so this is how your box should look when it's taped up. You also want to firmly secure the top, so I'm just gonna take my tape. These are hard when you have nails, really long nails. There we go. Tape it like down the middle, if you see where the four points meet. So do that, so they don't shift out of place. You want everything firm as, like, firm as, like gripped really good. And I'm gonna just take my tape again this is like so hard when you've got really smell and then go 
across like that so it stays in place and you're going to do the same thing on the bottom as well you see like a little cross shape and just so this doesn't pop up I mean it's, it's very secure but you just want to make sure it's extra secure basically don't leave them like that because these can move around I'm guessing so do that Because I'm extra and I like spray painting, why not? <laughs> I'm extra, you guys. I'm extra. I just love it. You don't have to do this, but I just want to. It just makes me feel confident that underneath is metallic too. So I'm just doing the top anyway, around the top area. I don't, don't ask why, this is just part of being extra. When you're extra, things don't need to make sense, you know? You just do it as you go. It just gives me confidence <laughs> so I'm gonna take my picture frame so I'm first gonna start with the base one so this is the biggest one and I'm just gonna glue the back of the second biggest one which is the five seven and I'm gonna just you can take this off it's totally up to you don't have to have it on there just gonna apply a good amount of glue around the back of this picture frame I'm really getting it on the edge of the frame really and this is Gorilla Glue. I find this glue better than the cork glue that I use in my other DIYs, just letting you know, FYI. I'm going to definitely be using this more. What can you do without this glue? This glue is just more easy to apply, do you see how easy it is? The other one's a bit of a struggle glue, you know, struggle, big time struggle. Okay, so you want it like that, messy and gooey. Okay. I'm sweating buckets you guys, it is hot in Houston, Texas. And then, you see that? Just firmly press it in place. You might get glue on the side and if I were you, I'll just get like some paper. Yeah, you will get glue on the side. You can spray paint that too. So, and just pull it. I'm gonna spray paint this at the very end when I've got what I want. And just clean that up. Oh. I put too much glue that's the result of too much glue and there there's the base so I'm gonna do that with um, all of the frames like that and I'm gonna do this in fast mode. frame so scratch that out it just didn't look nice and I put glue down so basically I'm using four frames plus the um, large bottom one I'm gonna take sorry I'm gonna take this Ooh, shoot. and just sorry guys pop it down like that and then hold it in place hold it hold it hold it and as I'm holding it, I'm just gonna spray paint, just so everything dries in one, spray paint the bottom, just so they look good at the bottom, so it just looks like silver. I don't want the mirror showing that at all. So I'm gonna spray paint the bottom part now. Letting everything set. And I'm holding this firmly at the top. You're gonna really wanna press down, so everything can just like set, the glue can set. So I would say hold it for about 10 minutes it down with all your strength you can do this too just use all your strength to like hold this in right. down there and I'm gonna just take my frame right here and attach it to the top of this and then you're gonna see the rest of this outside when I'm done done perfect oh my god so you guys the top just to get this video done I just put I just spray painted the top but really what should go on top would be 
mirrors like I actually have a mirror fit for this but I decided not to because I'm just it's just really too hot to work today so I can always go back and change that all I need to do is open these up and put an actual mirror inside it but it looks good now look at the side oh my god you guys this is like on the next level I absolutely love it wow obsessed so here it is dolls I love it it's gorgeous of course I wish I could change this and put the mirrors on top but oh well we can all you know I can always take this out this is just so you guys can see how to make this but I actually have a mirror measured for this to put inside and this is how it looks like oh, this will definitely cost like 200 to 300 dollars or more it's very expensive so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe down below. Let me know what you liked in this video and I'll see you dolls in my next one. Bye. I love it. Obsessed. Can't stop looking at it. I love it. Like I'm literally obsessed.